All right, so um, so now I'm going to show you guys how to get this all set up. Before we install Minecraft, which is the Oculus Rift mod for Minecraft that allows you to use Minecraft with Oculus Rift, there's a couple of things you absolutely have to do before you try to install Minecraft, otherwise it won't install. The very first thing you have to do is your Java needs to be up to date. So if it's been a while since you've updated Java, go to Java's website, this URL right here, which will be in the, the notes, and download and install the newest version of Java. If you don't have the newest version of Java installed, this probably will not succeed. So I would definitely update your Java. The second thing that you need to download is this Oculus Runtime for Windows. And this basically is the driver that allows Oculus Rift to run on Windows. Um, we're not using Oculus Rift, but um, Minecraft doesn't work unless it can find an Oculus Rift driver. Um, and so this right here is what you need um, to run on your computer. I actually already have this downloaded and installed, so I'm not gonna do it. Um, but if you, it, it's very, very straightforward uh, to do, and it'll boot up and it'll show down here in the taskbar right here. So those are those two things. Once your job is up to date and you have the Oculus runtime installed on Windows, we still can't put Minecraft on just yet. We have to open up Minecraft and ensure that the versions that Minecraft currently supports are downloaded onto our computer. So if you go to the Minecraft website actually, and this is the URL, I'll post the link to it in the description, you'll notice that the current versions of Minecraft support Minecraft 1.7.10 and 1.8.1. This is the preview of the newer version right here, um, and this is the one I'm gonna install. Right now, this one, I, I guess I should explain the operating system. So, most of this stuff is compatible with both Windows and OS X right now. Java obviously is. There is a version of this for Mac, I believe. Um, and also, Minecraft runs on OS X as well. The problem is the software we're using to stream Minecraft to our Google Cardboard right now is only available for PC. So if you're a MacBook user like me, um, you're gonna have to use Boot Camp or something to, uh, to run Windows on your computer in order to do this. Um, there's not really much alternatives out there right now for um, Mac as far as streaming goes um, so I I'm sure that'll change in the future and I, I hope that changes in the future too I know that the program that we're going to be using to stream called into game the founders have talked about potentially porting it to Mac eventually and if that happens then everything else should be fully compatible and you should be able to run it on a Mac so now that we got that out of the way we're going to have to download the Windows version of Minecraft. But like I said, before we do that, open up Minecraft. And we're going to have to run those two versions of Minecraft, 1.7.10 and 1.8.1 on our computer. So if you go to Edit Profile here, um, you can choose here what release you want to run Minecraft under. In order to install it on your computer, you have to run it at least once. So we're going to run release 1.7.10. So you click Save Profile and then just click Play. And so it downloaded everything that we need to run Minecraft 1.7.10. And now you can see Minecraft 1.7.10 is running. So we're good. Quit the game. Go back into the launcher. And now choose Minecraft 1.8.1 as well, save profile, and hit play. And so now everything that wasn't already downloaded for Minecraft 1.7.10 will now be installed for one Minecraft 1.8.1. So those are the two versions of Minecraft that this currently supports. So you can quit out of Minecraft once you do that. Go back into Minecraft and now it's time for us to download and install Minecraft. 
So um, we're going to use the latest version right here, this 1.8.1 preview version. Um, there's a mirror right here, so we're going to download it from here. Media Fire, then download. All right. So now everything should be set in order to correctly run Minecraft. So let's hope this goes well. Open up Minecraft. All right, so this is the Minecraft VR installer. Um, the default directory is perfectly fine. Um, and don't check off any of these things. Um, you don't need any of them. Just leave it exactly as it is and click OK to install. So now we gotta wait for this to install. Fortunately, I don't think it takes too, too long. Um, installed successfully, cool. So I think we are all set now. All right, so now if you go into the Minecraft launcher, you'll notice that if you go to edit profile, you'll be able to choose this right here. Look, release Minecraft 1.8.1 Pre-2 No Hydra. That's what we want. So if we save our profile and now download and play that, you'll notice Minecraft looks a little bit different now. Um, now it looks like you're looking through some virtual reality goggles, which is pretty neat.